Kirche. Hi there, my name is Pavin and I'm in Bizline's top in Bizline Full Associate on a pro rata basis and I'm also the CEO and founder of Align Alchemy. We are the number one and top Invisalign business mentors in the UK. Welcome to series two, episode three. So today we're gonna to take a step back and say that we spoke about the consideration phase and why the conversation phase was so important. In the last episode, we spoke about Zoom and thank you so much for the incredible feedback and questions. I love the level of engagement that we're getting. So today we're gonna to talk about the power of messaging. All too often we have, without being rude or ageist, you know, a reception in the 60s who said, I called someone, I left a message and they didn't call back. And there's a big story. The reality is that we live in a world, when we think about people aged 25 to 35, they probably don't have the confidence to speak and articulate on the phone. They're not comfortable talking to people that they don't know. That's why it's easier to sit behind a phone and message. Practices that have a dedicated person, a very deliberate way focused on messaging are absolutely dominating the market. What we understand with messaging is that speed is number one. The type of messaging is very important. Our top practice have templated responses because you can't afford to have a spello or to get something in the wrong way. The second thing that we've noticed is that people respond better to WhatsApp than SMSs. So within WhatsApp, it's going to the details as far as what is your profile picture. If your profile picture says, for argument's sake, Invisalign provider Northampton, when that WhatsApp comes through and somebody does not recognize the number, by virtue of seeing the logo, they're gonna be, oh, this must relate to X. Because what we've come to understand is, in essence, a person who wants to engage in a conversation is scared, they're nervous, they're anxious, and they're worried. They don't want to be judged. So they put up a level of barriers. At Dental Public Health University, we call it barriers to access. In today's world, the barrier to access is not a physical barrier of where is my local NHS dentist. It's an emotional barrier. Emotionally, I'm scared, I'm worried, I think I might be judged, I need someone who understands me, that's where the messaging is so, so critical. When we delve into this and we look at the top practices, they understand the speed, they understand resources. Resources mean that if you happen to work in a city center, it's not a surprise that you'll be getting more response to your messaging, either before working, during lunch or after. So what we have to do is to really understand our area, our demographic, what's happening locally within the area and figure out where we allocate our time and resources. Because the number three things we understand is speed. The person that speaks to that person first and secures a deposit is 90 times more likely to secure their business. And the sad reality, this is a game of speed. Think about yourself right now. If that chair behind me was to break down, the engineer who picks up the phone first, who says they're gonna come in today, is the guy that you give your business to. It's just a reality of the world in which we live in. In the same way, for a consumer, it's the person that picks up the phone. So let me give you a story. I had a client who was doing an amazing job but her problem was that she was slow to actually do the conversation. Once she had secured the deposits, what she found was that people were canceling and asking for their deposit back. And when we ran an audit, what we realized was that the person doing the conversations was just not on the game. But most importantly, the person that was booking the appointments in was booking appointments three or four weeks out. So from the point of the consumer, They've shown a consideration, they've had a, they've had a conversation, and now they're really excited. They're so excited, they can't wait. They don't want to wait three or four weeks for that GDP, so they just called the person around the corner. And sadly, this client did all the hard work, but their inability to be adaptive and to respond to speed 
meant they were losing business to the guy down the road, even though they had done all the hard work. I hope this little story helps you to appreciate the need for speed, the need for speed when it comes to messaging, the need for speed to secure the deposit, but most importantly, the need for speed to get them into the consultation. So guys, thank you so much for your time today. It's been an absolute pleasure. My name is Bavin. Please share, please tag. Let's get the word out there and let's all help each other in these really, really exciting times. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.